alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. I've already shown you how to make a lamb biryani and I use lots of earthy spices to complement the lamb. Today I'm going to cook a chicken biryani and I'm going to cut back on those earthy spices to create a much fresher feel. After all, nobody wants to eat chicken in dirt sauce. For my not so earthy chicken biryani, I've got 600 grams of cubed chicken, four medium onions that I've sliced quite thinly, one chopped tomato, 125 mls of plain yogurt, two teaspoons each of ginger paste and freshly crushed garlic, two tablespoons of dried mint, but if you can get fresh mint, that's much better, half a cup of chopped coriander, two green chilies, which I've sliced, and a few more for garnishing, in the seed and leaf tray, I've got two bay leaves, an inch of cinnamon that I've crushed, three green cardamoms that I've cracked open, two cloves and four black peppercorns. And here I've got a teaspoon each of salt and chili powder and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Heat two tablespoons of ghee in a pan and add in the onions. Now stir fry these on a medium heat until they caramelize about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, soak 500 grams of basmati rice in some clean water for about 20 minutes. Once the onions have gone this lovely brown and sticky texture, turn off the heat and scoop them out with a slotted spoon and put them to one side. Now melt another tablespoon of ghee in the pan Add in the garlic and ginger, together with the whole spices, and stir fry for one minute. Now add in the chicken and the remaining spices, and stir fry for about five minutes to brown the meat. Once the meat is brown, add in the tomatoes, the yogurt. Mm. creamy white goodness, the chilies, the mint, the coriander and about two thirds of your fried onions. We're going to keep a third back for garnishing. Now we'll mix this well and let it simmer gently for about 15 minutes to cook the chicken. After 15 minutes turn off the heat. Drain the rice and bring it to the boil in a large pan with plenty of water. When the rice comes to the boil, let it simmer for one minute. After one minute, remove from the heat and drain. So now I've got my partly cooked rice and my biryani meat mixture. Now I can make the biryani. Put about a third of the rice in a layer on the bottom of the pan. Spread it around to make a nice layer. Add on half of the meat mixture. Just spread it around a little bit. Add on half of the remaining rice. Spread into a layer. Then the remaining meat mixture. And the last of the rice. Now take some saffron in water, or if you can't get saffron, just use some yellow food colouring in water and put a few drips over the top. Now cover the pan and place on a very, very low heat for five minutes. Finally remove from the heat and mix gently before serving. Garnish with fried onions and chopped coriander and fresh green chilies. Serve with lemon and a simple writer. Don't be fooled into thinking that somehow biryani is the wimp's choice because any well-cooked biryani has as much nose-running ability as any spicy curry. Join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Huda Hafiz!